Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I'm heading into Porcelain Tower. We're going to be clearing the last two floors, uh, floor 69 and floor 70. So looking at it right off the bat right now, uh, looking at floor 69, we have a full team of water units. Uh, we have Summer Elserol, she is uh, magic. And we have, I can't exactly remember that unit's name, but I'm pretty sure she has some sort of evasion. Uh, so that's the things I'm going to be looking out for. All right, so here is my um, lightning team. Uh, I named it Thor. It's actually Thor's real name. The H isn't actually in there in Old Norse. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this build really quick. Um, so looking at Charlotte, uh, normally I wouldn't run a tank with a sword, but in this case, since the enemies are only level 99, I think better for her to actually be able to do some damage. She, so she's sitting at 10.2k HP, 109 agility, so pretty quick. 1200 attack, 32 defense, 54 spirit. And in the back end, resistance is all looking pretty good, except for pierce and strike. Going over to Cloud here. He's sitting at 8k HP, 104 agility, 1700 attack, 23 defense, 9 spirit. And his back end resistance is looking phenomenal right now. Okay, so moving on to Resnick. She's got 7.1k HP, 112 agility, 1400 magic, 34 defense, 29 spirit. Also, her back end resistance is looking really good, except for Pierce and Strike. So for Charlotte, Pierce and Strike are going to be what we're looking out for. For Esther, she's sitting at 10.2k HP, 119 agility, so she is quite quick. Dex over 400, luck at around 350, attack 1650, defense 45, spirit 7, and her back end resistance is also looking really good, except for the magic attack resistance, which is 8, but I'm going to let that slide. It's okay, we do have Charlotte. And lastly, we do have Frederica. She's sitting at 7.2k HP, 114 agility, 530 dex, 330 luck, 1250 attack roughly, 13 defense, 6 spirit. And for Frederica, also in the back end on resistances, not bad at all. So, looking like it's going to be a pretty fun fight. I'm going to turn off auto and we are going to embark. And let's see how it goes. Honestly, since floor 63, um, I think that that was the hardest floor so far, floor 63. I am curious to see kind of what happens. Uh, in this fight right here, and then also the last one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... is take a look around and see where all the enemies are. Okay, so it looks like the main group is down there in the main courtyard. And then there's another group up here. These are the Sahagins. So they're just going to jump up that ledge right there. They have that innate jump. Okay, so... I'll probably send Esther off to counter them over there. I'm going to want to move Frederica away. And then slowly move down. Um, yeah, I'm going to go put Esther right here. I'm going to bring Frederica over. She's going to use Emberlight Vitality. For Charlotte, I think I'm actually just going to put her straight in the middle of everything. Hopefully she can attract the most amount of attention. Here we have Resnick coming in. Okay, so since Esther is going to be kind of on her own over here, we are going to give her teaching of self-preservation. Ooh, so we do get a re-raise. There's some zombies over here. Okay, so there's magic shield. So sending over Esther was the right thing to do. With Cloud, I'm going to pop her Vitalize. And I am going to bring him down the flank right here. Okay, now let's see. Just to be safe, I'm going to pop Immortal Spirit. Also, she needs a little bit more... Uh, she needs a little bit more... 
AP, I think. Also, it doesn't look like these Sahagans are going to jump up here. I think I'm just going to leave her here for now. We'll see what they do. For Frederica, I'm going to run her down here to Tail Cloud. We'll use Aimed Fire. Now her effect range is up. And for Resnick, I'm going to run her over here. And we are also going to use Teachings of Self-Preservation on Charlotte right now. As for Charlotte herself, she's basically used everything that she needs now that she has all her grid buffs up. I'm going to headline her over here against these guys right here. Actually, I think I'm going to bring her over to the side so she pulls them away. Alright. Hopefully Charlotte is not too far away from everybody. She did pull the Sahagins. Okay, we did manage to pull one of them up there where Esther is. Cloud, I'm just going to auto and off. He's going to take down one of the enemies. They're going to get the re-raise. Looks like Charlotte missed the buff right there. That was my bad. Ooh, the Doom. Okay, now we have to... Uh... Now we have to win this quick, I think. Alright, so switching over into auto right now. Charlotte gets the physical shield. She goes for the AoE hit. We do have the ghoul coming in from the side. Cloud is going to hopefully take out a group of them right now. One goes down. One goes down. Both get the re-raise. One of the Sahagans goes down right here. Okay, so Charlotte getting a little bit uh, debuffed. But still looking quite strong. Esther comes in. She takes down one of them. We are fighting the timer here on Cloud so that he stays alive. I think we can do it. But let's just see how it goes. Nice, Frederica with the reflex. Ooh, she comes in with Barrage, almost takes them all out. Charlotte comes in, takes out the last ghoul or whatever. Oh no, that's Summer Elseroll. Okay, so Esther finishes it up. Cloud is going to come back. Okay, so it looks like she's going to get the physical shield. Hopefully Frederica takes out the last one. So it looks like there's down to just one enemy right now. Oh, still two actually. Alright, down to one enemy. Cloud's counter on the Doom Ticker is two. He's going to go down to one right now. Oh, it's so close. And it is over. Hell yeah. All right. Honestly, that was one of the smoothest uh, floors that I've done so far. It's interesting. I feel like you would think that they would get harder as you go up, but I think that it really only gets harder depending on the units that you have to go into these battles. Um, and yeah, like I said in a previous video, you can always like fill your formation with uh, weak units, like level 50 units, and just keep running teams of level 30, 50 units until you exhaust all the enemy's abilities. And then you can just run a strong team. And if the enemy has no abilities, they'll just be auto attacking you the entire time. Makes it pretty easy, actually. Okay, so this is the final fight. So it looks like we have ice, dark, looks like neutral, and fire. So looking at this, I think that since this is the last floor, I'm just going to go ahead and fully recover my units. Now we have Revitalize back. I am going to go into Fire, since I just built Megamon, and we're going to try with a Fire team, right off the bat. Um, I think that this will be pretty fun. Uh, it looks like this team is pretty solid. Um, Yastola, 99 still. Rain is running Jooms TMR. I'm actually going to switch Jooms TMR to this one. This is a new... Uh, TMR that I've been building and essentially what I've been doing is I've just been building trust stones for individual TMRs essentially and then I'll only switch around the stones on the TMR if I absolutely have to but right now I'm running the Saiga Gauntlet it is built for magic I built this for rain um, so that he gets more movement up I know that he does it does lower the movement I made a mistake right here I leveled up this ability to 20 what I should have done is kept this ability level 1, because he doesn't need to decrease the chance of being targeted, he just needs the raise, move, slash, jump. Um, but it is what it is, you make mistakes and you learn. 
So I'm going to switch him to the Saiga Gauntlet. Okay. And then... Anybody else? Oh, so I'll probably put Jim's TMR on your Stola right here. And I think that that is going to be it. Um, maybe I will take the Emberlight Mantle and put this on Mont instead, just so that he has some ability for AP. Or some capacity. Looking at Mont's stats, okay, it looks like we're still missing... Wow, he is just freaking slow, isn't he? Okay. 86 agility, huh? 77 agility. Oh, I see what it is. Her card is in the front slot right here. Okay, so if I switch... Okay, now we should have higher agility. 88. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Alright, so looking at Mont, we have 11k HP, 88 agility, uh, 1239 attack, 48 defense, 20 spirit, 54% slash, really good elemental resistances in the back, 10% magic resist, 22% missile, 40% pierce, and negative 10 strike. Okay, so still looking pretty good, although still a little bit tough on the magic resistance, but not terrible. Which sword do I want to use? I'll stick with this one. Okay. As for this dude, Mish, he's sitting at 5.2k HP, 1350 magic, 79 agility, 12 defense, 6 spirit. Um, his resistances are probably the best I've ever seen on any character in the game. I just, it's great when you get a whole line of red right across the board, but he is a rare unit, so we're going to cut him a break. Alright, so going over to Setia. Setia has around 7k HP, 103 agility, 1450 attack, 10 defense, 6 spirit. And pretty good resistances in the back, just got to look out for strike. Yastola has 3.2k HP, 96 agility, 900 magic. So definitely not the strongest uh, mage, but she is still 99. So we got also got to cut her some slack. I am throwing in this team, kind of expecting that we probably won't win the fight with this team. But I do love fire as an element and any chance that I have to use it. I will use it. So Rain sitting at the signature 9999 HP. That's fucking awesome. Agility 87, Magic 1500. He's got 10 defense, 56 spirit. Uh, pretty good resistances in the back, except for Strike. He is extremely weak to Strike. And other than the Fire Ring, I think we'll probably just leave the Fire Ring, to be honest. Uh, we are fighting Ice, so it is what it is. Um, but actually, it looks like I can switch him up a little bit and put on Bringers of Shadow down here. So he's going to have more magic now. Okay, not bad. All right, so let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Going into floor 70, the final floor of Porcelain Tower. Um, last time they had Porcelain Tower out was the first time actually that I didn't go all the way to the top floor which is currently 70. Um, interesting this time that they that they didn't add new floors. I thought that they definitely would but uh, yeah I guess I don't know but hopefully they will do that soon. Okay so just starting it off here with some buffs. This looks like a fairly straightforward map. Hmm. I'm going to use Ember Light. I'm going to get Mont as far away from everybody as possible. Actually, I'm going to put him over here. I want to create room for the other characters. Okay, so for Rain, I'm going to put on Fleet of Foot for now. I want to, to draw all the... Ugh, the freaking blind. Brutal. Okay, well that's good to know about. Hopefully it only lasts three turns. Okay. This guy I'm going to put on Helena's Barrier. Basically, I'm just getting off all their buffs right now. Making sure that I have everything that uh, I need. Slash attack resist. Here we have unit resist around allies. Okay, so I'm going to use this. That'll make them a little bit tougher. Yastola. I will cast Protect on Setia. Thank you. 
for rain, I'm going to use Blazing Physique to raise his Ice Resist. Now he has Resistance to Blind. I think I'm going to use Target on Setia. And I'm just basically accumulating AP with her and building her up as, as strong as I possibly can. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. For him, I'm just going to pass. As soon as I get Rain and Mont doing what I want them to do, then I will unleash the rest of them. So, let's see here. It looks like everything is physical so far, so I'll use Kalem's Pride. Looks like I need to raise the hate a little bit on Mont and on Rain, which is the appropriate timing right now. Okay, so I'm going to use Kira on them. Okay, so Odin's finally coming out to play. And it is time to unleash Setia. Okay, one unit down. Megamont is going to use Proclamation, re-raise his hate. I'm going to put him over here. I think I will put him right here. And... Ooh, a little bit close for comfort right there. And for rain, I'm going to use Astral Guard. I'm going to run him up here. And hopefully his blind will come off on the next turn. Alright, so kind of a fun fight so far. It will be fun to actually take this out with fire if we can. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna just keep letting Setia do what she does. Mish with the reflex right there, the magic reflex. Okay, so we're getting the heal. Now what do we want to do with uh, Mont? I think I will use Kalem's Pride again. I'm gonna start running him up here. Actually, I'm going to bring them over here. Then we can bring the rest of the people up the flank as well. And start flanking all these enemies from the side while both of the tanks generate both of their attention over into that corner. Okay, so Mish, we're going to let him go. And hopefully all of our DPS will stay on this side of the map. And the, all the enemies will just focus on whatever they can over there. Okay, so we do have Cure. With Yastola, she is quite fragile, so I just heal her no matter what. I just don't want to risk it. Um, it looks like Rain is still blinded, so I'm just going to use Astral Guard. I'm going to bring him over here. Okay, so Rain's, Rain's, uh, Rain's blind finally dropped. And I am going to use Proclamation again, since Mont has more HP. And it looks like we're just about ready to run the auto through. Rain is getting a little low on HP over here. But let's see how it goes. Let's run through auto a little bit. Okay, Rain getting a little bit close for comfort over here. I don't know if Yastola can span the distance to him, but hopefully Megamont will take over the the aggro right here, or our DPS can protect Rain from the back. We'll see. It's gonna come down to Setia right here. Okay, so she goes for the hit. It looks like we are pulling aggro away from Rain. Megamon takes down one of the enemies. Rain gets the slow off on one of the enemies right there. Odin ignores Rain, thankfully. So if Rain can just solo that enemy that he slowed, we should have this. Setia takes down the Glacial Bird. Rain gets the super clutch reflex right there. That's what I like to see. We have Megamon using Fangs of Leonis. Alright, here we go. Looks like we were actually able to take it down with a fire team. 
which uh, I wasn't expecting to be honest, but I mean, we are using a rare and a 99. But I mean, that just goes to show that you can definitely beat all these floors even with a team of 99. Um, you just have to kind of handle it the right way. Um, we just got the Thunder Ring, super, super excited about that. For those of you who haven't really done Tower, the Elemental Rings don't really look that great at first glance, or that was my thought, but they really are quite good pieces of equipment. And uh, yeah, there we go. Congratulations, Porcelain Tower, 70th floor clear. Okay, so my score is probably going to be pretty terrible. I, uh, I used my restores even when I didn't need to. Oh, I didn't even get a score. I guess that's because I didn't start at the bottom on this turn. It left me off from where I was before, which was around floor 63. Oh, here we have the EX floor. Okay, maybe we'll give this one a try. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Level 120, it looks like we have fire, fire, light, um, water, and fire. So I think that... Why don't we just give this EX floor a shot? I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna switch over to a water team. Oof, this team is not built at all. Okay, so we're gonna build this team really quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here we have Celis. What else do we have? I think I'm actually going to drop in Esther. So we won't run a pure uh, team, but it should be strong enough. Okay, so building Esther, I think I will run her with Bells actually. With Titus, we will run him with the Emberlight Mantle. For Astrius, we will run him with Titus' shoes. He can recover his own AP. I'll put on his weapon right here. And then I'm going to switch him to Brigandine. For Eldira, she looks good. Looking at the Espers across the board, that looks good. That looks good. Celis, I'll go with Golden Armon. Esther... Ooh, okay, interesting. So actually, I will run Esther with the Golden Arimon, and for Celis, I will run Bahamut. And then going through the cards, here we go. I'm going to run Chaos Odin. For Ildira, the Siren card works. For Ty Titus, that card works. For Celis, I will run this card right here. For Esther, I think I will run... Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, for Esther, I'm going to run her card in the primary slot. Then I'm going to run Resnick's card in the secondary slot. Um, for Celis... I think I'll also run this card, even though it won't stack with Esther's right there. Or what I do is I put Helena's card in the main slot. That way it does stack with Esther, and it does stack with everyone else at the same time. Going down to Astrius, we're going to put in Clairvo Clairvoyant Astrologer. Going over to Titus, I think I will run him with Ben Rear. And lastly, with Eldira, I will go down and run Bringers of Shadow for the extra attack. Okay, for Titus, I'm going to switch him over to a better weapon. So we're going to use this weapon right here. Okay, he also has the black garb for defense piercing. And Celis, lastly, I am not going to use a weapon with her. I am going to use the water ring. Then I think I will use... Hmm... We'll go with the Feeds Lacerna. And lastly, just looking at her TMR setup, I think I will go with the Swiftwind Mantle. Okay, all right, so going into the EX floor, the 70th floor, the hardest floor in tower right now. 
All right, let's see what we can do with this team right here. This should be pretty fun. Honestly, the last two floors were not terrible. Um, still, 63rd floor, definitely the hardest one. Okay. Time to get off Bucks and kickstart the battle. Actually, I'm going to leave her there. Maybe she needs a couple more buffs. Ildira is going to get the CT off buff. For Celis, she's going to go Runic Blade. I am going to run her out just a little bit. For Titus, he's going to come up here. He's going to use Hastaga. Indomitability. I'm going to put him in the back so they're all going to get hasted right here. For Esther, she's going to use Immortal Spirit. For Eldira, she is going to use Resistibility or Resistivity or whatever that buff is. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far on the setup right here. We'll see how it goes. We've got everyone hasted. Let's see for. Esther, she's going to revitalize, and I'm going to run her out. For Astrius, he is going to use... He already used Indomitability. I think I will use Target for the extra range, and the defense piercing. For Eldira, she's going to use Grace of Eternal Friendship. I'll leave her where she is. For Titus, I will use... Saintly Wall for the barrier. Run him out. And for Celis, last but not least, I will run her Undefeated General's Pride for the hate. Put her right in the middle of the map. Alright, so still a quite a decent hit there from Lucio and Glaciella. So the team is definitely looking strong. I'm going to bring over Eldira. I am going to go for the height based cure on Celis. Looks like she's not quite close enough. Better to just keep them up and healed than uh, letting it get a little bit close. And for Astrius, he's at 121 HP. I'm going to use Deep Fortification one more time just to get a little bit more AP. And then I'm going to release these guys out into the fray.